What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Max Power back again with SG Live. This week is the week of the 27th. I hope you guys are having a fantastic quarantine or as best as it can be. Without further ado, welcome to SG Live. Hey, Spring Grove. Good morning, Rockets. Hey, SG. It's Miss Hollick here. Hey, Spring Grove family. I wanted to say hello to you. It's Mrs. Kimber here. Hi, Spring Grove High School. This is Pensinger. Hello, Spring Grove. This is Mrs. Pickenham. Hi, Spring Grove. Hi, guys. Mrs. Rick here. I just wanted you all to know how much I miss you. Like, I really miss you. Hey, Rocket family. Mrs. Costello from the Health Room checking in. Hope you guys are staying safe during this time. We're hoping that you are staying safe and enjoying this time at home. Uh, we really do miss you. All of the teachers do here at Spring Grove High School, and we can't wait to get back to school. My family started playing Fortnite, all of them, and I'm the only one not playing, and they don't pay any attention to me anymore. mRNA is gonna be made from an unzipped strand of DNA, and that's later gonna be used in translation. I miss being in the classroom with you. I miss the daily interactions that I have with you. Any questions? What do you mean you don't know what mRNA is? Look. I know it's a very difficult time, and uh, this is not how you wanted to finish up the year. Um, to the class of 2020, I wanted to say congratulations. Um, you guys are awesome. You worked really hard, and I can't wait to hear about all of the great things you're gonna do in the future. How are we going to pass the keystone if you don't know what mRNA is? I've been out in this garage for like six hours and no one's even noticed. So I came out here to hang out with my new friend, the chicken. His name's Marshmallow. And um, he's the only person that pays attention to me. Okay, falling asleep again, that's a lunch detention and I've had about enough of this class. I hope you are taking time away from your devices. That you are using this time to either teach yourself something new or go back and relearn something that you did many years ago. I hope that you're taking some time to get outside and get some fresh air. It's good for the body and the mind. Most of all, just hoping that you guys are staying safe. Seniors, I'm really thinking of you during this time and I wish you well in the next chapter of your life and I know you'll do great things, so I'm looking forward to that. Just want to let you know that I'm thinking of all of you. Um, to everyone else, I can't wait to see you back at school again next school year. Um, these are some really strange times we're living in, and I know a lot of you guys are probably scared. I think a lot of us are scared. This little tiny pathogen that we can't see is turning our world upside down, but there's nothing really new about this kind of thing. Throughout history, we had the plague, we had measles, we had polio, we had diphtheria, we had cholera. Um, you know, it's just sort of the way humans are. We're sus susceptible to these little pathogens. But the thing we have going for us now is a lot of science. And science and knowledge is power. And so I'm praying for the scientists to come through with a cure and a vaccine so that we can all get back together pretty soon. I know we all really miss each other and I'm really looking forward to us all being together again. So until that time, you're in my thoughts and prayers. I love you, hang in there. And I hope you're having more fun than I am at home with your families. See ya. Please, please, please stay healthy. Take care.
best thing about Dr. Cucularia is definitely how supportive and how whenever you come into school, she always has a smile on her face and she's just eager to greet all the students. You can tell she really cares. Probably the best thing about Dr. Cucularia is how supportive she is for all aspects of the school and everything that we do. Dr. Cucularia is always willing to help you with anything you need. You can talk to her about anything school related or even anything outside of school. And also, she's really focused on forming great relationships with all of her students. The best thing about Dr. Cuglieri is she's always uh, striving to get students involved in activities and encourage them, encouraging them with everything that they do. Dr. Cuglieri is very positive. She always has a smile. And when you walk into the school, she's always welcoming all the students, which is like a positive thing for a principal to do. I would say she's most like Captain Marvel because she can basically do anything. The superhero that Dr. Cuglieri is most like, I would have to say Nightcrawler because most like other teachers, um, she just kind of like shows up randomly when you're walking in the hallway. You turn around, boom, Dr. Cuglieri. Thank you, Dr. Cuglieri, for everything you do. Quarantine is the perfect time to just start cooking, either as a hobby or just for fun. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make pumpkin pie. You want to start by setting your temperature to 375. Beginning with the pie crust, crimp the tops in order to keep it from falling over. Also, make your egg wash and put it all over the crust to prevent burning. We now move on to the creation of the filling. Okay, so here I just have some pumpkin in a can, which I put into the bowl first. And then we took three eggs and we mixed it into the pumpkin filling. Then you put in one cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one eighth a teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, as well as a half a teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Lastly, we then added one can of sweetened condensed milk. Pop it in the oven and after an hour, it should turn out like this. Enjoy. Streets of Rage 4 for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. This is the return of the Streets of Rage series of games from the Sega Genesis era. This game features fully redesigned characters and should be a nice breath of life into a game that hasn't seen the limelight in a long time. It's nice to see that some of the classics haven't quite died yet and that some life can be brought back into them. Maybe there's some hope for some of your favorite older games. And some random video game trivia. Sony and Nintendo originally worked together to make a CD-ROM addition to the Super Nintendo. However, the deal fell through in 1991, as Nintendo pulled out of the deal, meaning Sony went forward by itself, eventually making it the biggest competition in Nintendo other than Microsoft.
thank you guys so much for watching and as always be responsible be respectful be safe best of luck you guys